Hey, what's up, everybody? Doran Aldana here coming at you with another kick-ass episode of the Art of Mortgage Marketing Podcast. And today we're going to talk about three simple steps to recession-proof your mortgage business. Now, many of you, I'm sure, are well aware that the writing's on the wall with all the inflationary indicators, with uh, rates going up, inflation being at crazy uh, high levels and uh, cost of gas and everything else is just going through the roof. So there's lots uh, to show that indeed recession is coming. It's not a matter of if, it's just a matter of when. And so we want to get prepared for that. We want to get prepared for the storm. The best time, of course, to prepare for the storm is not when the storm hits, but in advance of the storm hitting. And that's precisely why we're doing this Facebook Live, this uh, podcast episode is to get you guys armed and dangerous so that you're least and last affected by market downturns versus first and most. So you can be thriving while everyone else is struggling to be surviving, to prosper in unprosperous times. That's really what we want to get you equipped and in it to win it, to be able to accomplish so you can sleep well at night every night, knowing that you are built on a rock solid foundation. That's really the key because, uh, of course, you know, there's always going to be the swings in the market. There's always going to be shifts in the market. That's just par for the course. That's the nature of the beast. We want you to be in a place where you feel total certainty, total confidence that your business is up and to the right, regardless of what's going on in the market. Because the last thing we want, we want for you, and unfortunately, very few loan officers know how to do this, is to be you know, in, uh, in scramble mode. Many loan officers know how to be in scramble mode, picking up low hanging fruit when everyone's, you know, fat and happy on uh, refis in a refi boom when rates are at all time lows. You know, everyone knows how to pick that low hanging fruit. Very few loan officers know how to be kicking ass, taking names, chewing bubble gum, crushing it and thriving while everyone else is dropping like flies. That is an elusive butterfly for most. So we want to get you guys set up to be able to, you know, continue to grow your business while you continue to take market share and while your competition starts to thin. Because uh, I kid you not, right now is a perfect time to be taking market share. It's a perfect time to be, uh, you know, thriving and growing your purchase business while everyone else is freaking out, wondering how the hell to do it. And unfortunately, most loan officers just don't know how to do it because no one's really trained them how to do it. They've been trained on how to uh, be order takers. They've been trained to cold call realtors. They've been trained to, you know, do the technical side of the business, but they don't necessarily know how to thread the needle on how to attract the top producing realtors, how to build a rock solid foundation in the purchase market, how to mine the gold from their database, maximize repeat and referral business, and to be able to build stability through diversification with a well-oiled machine called a marketing system versus just flying by the seat of their pants, hoping, wishing, and praying that the phone starts ringing. Most people in this business are waiting for the phone to ring versus making the phone ring. They're chasing re realtors versus attracting realtors. They're only relying on one anemic aspect of their business, and that's refis when rates go super low, but they don't know how to maximize referrals. And because they don't know how to do these things, they're exceedingly vulnerable to market shifts. And that's what we want to avoid for you. That's what we want to protect you from. And that's precisely why we're doing this training today. So that being said, let's dive in, shall we? Let's start off with uh, the first thing I wanted to talk about, which is you know the, the aspects that make you vulnerable, that make you vulnerable to having your business be... Uh, very much in turbulence when markets start to shift. But before we get into that, I just want to quickly talk about why bother uh, recession-proofing your business. Now, obviously, you know that might seem like a no-brainer question for many of you, but you'd be surprised how many loan officers just frankly don't think about why it's important to do until you know the shit hits the proverbial fan and they're freaking out, wondering you know what they're going to do to pay the bills. So we want to just kind of cast some light real quick on why bother recession proofing your business. Well, obviously the first reason is because uh, life ebbs and flows, business life ebbs and flows and storms come and go. It's not all lollipops, unicorns, rainbows and sunny skies, obviously. There's gonna be storms, there's gonna be turbulence and we want to give you that peace of mind, that certainty, that confidence to know that regardless of what turbulence and storms come your way, you are locked and loaded, 
you're on a rock solid foundation and your business just keeps coming in. Income keeps continuing to flow in. You're continuing to grow your business regardless of what's going on in the market. And when the market goes down the toilet, you don't go with it, right? Doesn't that sound like a much better way to grow your business than being in a very precarious position where you're sitting on a one-legged stool called refis and you're trying to figure out how to now pivot to the purchase market or to be in a wobbly situation where you know the wheels are falling off the bus because you don't have the right partners and the referrals you're getting are kind of you know mediocre at best you're having to sift through a mountain of gravel just to find a few gold nuggets because most of the leads you have are unqualified or difficult to convert or you're having to do you know resurrection um, miracles just to you know strap wings on them and make them fly to closing those sorts of precarious uh, vulnerabilities make it exceedingly difficult to grow your business in unprosperous times because you're so vulnerable to those market shifts, to rising rates, to low inventory, and all the other factors that we're seeing with hyper competition, margin compression, and the like. Makes it exceedingly difficult. So it's a bit like you're going out uh, to war and you have no armor and you're just wide open for the enemy to snipe you or to uh, put a bullet to your head. So we wanna make sure we armor you with a recession-proof, rock-solid foundation to your business. And before we get into talking about how to do that, I wanna just share with you four big mistakes that make you hyper-vulnerable to market downturns. Four big mistakes. The chances are, if you're watching this, if you're listening to this and you're concerned about your future, you're concerned about the fact that perhaps your income has been regressing, uh, you've perhaps found it difficult to pivot into the purchase market if you've been over-reliant on refis, perhaps you've noticed you're in stagnation or regression with your pipeline, your production and your income, or you're just feeling un very uncertain about your future in the mortgage business with all that's going on in the market. If you feel any of that uncertainty, fear, concern, worry, chances are you're committing one, if not more of these big four mistakes. And frankly, it's not your fault because most people just have never exposed you to them and have never trained you on how to mitigate, if not eliminate these mistakes. So it's not your fault. That's what I'm here for, to shine the light of truth on your situation and to be your advocate, your champion, to you know help you pivot out of those vulnerabilities into a rock solid recession proof foundation. So that being said, let's dive in. The first mistake that will make you hyper vulnerable to market downturns is over reliance on refis. Chances are you already know that to be true because chances are if you did have a refi heavy business last year, you've probably noticed a significant regression in your refi revenue this year. True or not true, right? So that is kind of the no brainer of the year. Anyone with a pulse who's got two brain cells to rub together, who's been in the business for more than a day already knows that to be true. And obviously, you know, if you're now scrambling to pivot to the purchase market and having difficulty doing so, you've come to the right place to watch this uh, Facebook Live and or listen to the replay on my podcast, because we're going to teach you today how to make that pivot more powerfully and more profitably and with uh, a more proactive uh, productivity in how you go about doing so. So that's the first mistake we want to avoid and we want to make sure you just make an internal pact in your own soul, in your own heart. If you have noticed that you've been getting your ass kicked or getting your nuts kicked in proverbially when it comes to your refi business dwindling and you're in scramble mode, here are some words that will help you. Never again. Two words that will help you prevent this in the future. The disgust and resolve that you may be feeling in never wanting to go back to this kind of vulnerability is capped off and created into a breakthrough from a breakdown into a breakthrough with those two words never again right we just decide enough is enough no more i've had it i'm done with being vulnerable to market downturns i'm done with being in the mad scramble i'm done with being in this roller coaster ride from hell up one month down the next up one year down the next i'm done with worrying where my next deal my next deal is going to come from when you get to that point of disgust and resolve though that's the alchemy the soul alchemy to transformation and breakthroughs is to get to that point where you say never again so if that's any consolation for you, if you've been getting your ass kicked with refis drying up, 
may that be your consolation that you say in your own heart, never again. The second mistake I want to highlight that makes you very vulnerable to market downturns is weak or non-existent realtor partnerships. So for example, if you've been uh, relying on Zillow leads or you've been relying on refis or you can, you've been relying on uh, repeat and referral business from your past clients and now all your clients are locked in at 2% or whatever the close, crazy low rate was that you got them locked in on over the last couple of years with you know crazy low rates that we've had with the, gold, the mortgage gold rush that we uh, got to enjoy over the last couple of years and now your refis have dried up there. Uh, and chances are, if you're relying on non-existent realtor partners and you're finding that you know your business has been dwindling or stagnating or regressing, that will certainly make you very vulnerable to this kind of market shift where we have hyper competition, margin compression, low inventory in many cases still, and everything's shifting to the purchase market. And if you're relying on crappy leads off the internet, that's going to be a long, slow grind up the mountain to recoup your income where it once was. It's going to be a long, slow grind up the mountain to get back into growth mode. Chances are you're going to be in stagnation regression mode for a long time if you're doing it the hard way like that. So that'll certainly put you in a, in a vulnerable position. Mistake number three that would make you very vulnerable to uh, market downturns is relying on low producing realtors. You see low producing realtors, they're going to be the ones who are first and most affected by market downturns versus least and last, which means if you're hitching your cart to that horse, you're going to find that uh, you're going to be very vulnerable to the market shift and the market downturn because when their business dries up, guess what? So does yours. And that's never a fun place to be, to be hitching your wagon uh, to the wrong horse where that horse ends up being a dying breed. You know, I, after 17 years of coaching mortgage pros to success, I've learned a few things. And, uh, you know, one of the things I've learned is when you're riding a dead horse, it's time to dismount, right? I know it's not a brilliant idea, but it's an idea nonetheless. When you're riding a dead horse, it's time to dismount. And these uh, low producing realtors, for the most part, tend to get chewed up and spat out pretty quick in market downturns in times of turbulence. So you want to make sure that uh, your purchase business is uh, linked it to those who are able to not just survive, but thrive in market downturns. In a moment, I'm going to share with you some of the key distinctions to be aware of as to what specific type of realtor to be partnering with and to be getting referrals from such that you're least and last affected by market downturns versus first and most. And the fourth uh, big mistake that causes many loan officers to become hyper vulnerable to uh, you know market downturns and market turbulence is as follows: lack of diversification, lack of a diversification. So, in other words, they might have two partners, but if they lose one of those partners, their business goes down by fifty percent or whatever the respective amount of referrals they were getting from that partner that they just lost. And so when you are lacking diversification, it's almost like your, your business is built on a table with one or two legs. It's very wobbly, right? It's very wobbly. It's very precarious. On the flip side, if you contrast that to the Parthenon in Greece, uh, in Athens, that has stood through the ages for over 3,000 years, uh, it begs the question, how has it stood the test of time? You know, how has that ancient artifact that in, that ancient architecture lasted so long through storms through pollution through all a matter of war and it still stands how is that possible because it has the power of stability through diversification by virtue of all those pillars it's not just built with one pillar is it it has multiple pillars literally dozens and dozens of pillars that allows it to build stability through diversification. That's how it stands this test of time. And the same thing goes with your business. You want to build stability through, through diversification, where instead of relying on one or two realtor partners, you've got a stable of 10 to 12 rock stars who are sending you one, two, three deals a month. And then you also have systems for mining the gold from your database, maximizing re repeat and referral business, leveraging social media 
leveraging online search, leveraging your Google My Business account with uh, you know five star reviews that make you show up and shine online and position you as the only logical choice in your market when people search for a mortgage professional in your market. So they're hot for what you got and pre-sold on you before they even talk to you. So you want to build that stability through diversification where you have multiple little you know uh, rivers, if you will, or, or streams, multiple streams of leads flowing into the cumulative effect of a raging river of revenue into your business. It's all about building that stability through diversification, uh, otherwise known as building a power Parthenon, right? Building a power Parthenon of profit centers in your business. And every one of those partners, every one of those referral systems, every one of those uh, you know, client acquisition systems is feeding into the strength, the overall strength and stability of your business. The uh, other thing to be cognizant of is, you know, really making sure that you have your business based on systems. So you want to build a systems based business, not just a you based business. If it's based on just you showing up to work, then the moment you get sick, the moment you get COVID, the moment that uh, you go on vacation and you actually want to have quality time with the family and be present with the family, your business falls apart because you have a you based business versus a systems based business. So you want to have that diver diversification be undergirded with pol policy procedure systems, campaigns, automation, technology, so that again, it's a systems based business versus a you based business. It's the difference between Bob's burger joint down the block that does, you know, 150 to 200 thousand dollars a year in revenue versus McDonald's that does billions of dollars a year in revenue. And it's managed primarily by and operated primarily by pimple popping teenagers, you know, that just got out of high school or are still in high school. So again, it's the power of those systems that allow it to have stability and scalability at the same time. So let's now get into the three simple steps, three simple steps for recession proofing your mortgage business. So the first step is you want to attract top producing realtor partners. Okay. So again, you don't want to go after the bottom feeding, whining, simply complaining, jelly donut eating low producers because they're going to be chewed up and spat out pretty quick. As soon as, uh, you know, the proverbial shit hits the fan, they're going to be dropping like flies. So they're going to go get their second jobs. They're going to go, you know, quit their real estate business and uh, go get a full time job somewhere in nine to five prison just to make ends meet. And guess what happens to your business when that happens? It goes gonzo if you're relying on those people for your referrals and for your leads. So instead, we want to go after the partners that are least and last affected by market downturns, who own the lion's share of the market when it comes to inventory, who have the most amount of clout, the most amount of influence, the most amount of potential business, the highest capacity to send you the most amount of business most often. And those are the top producers who are doing 20 plus buyer side transactions a year. The top producers are the ones who are going to survive uh, and even thrive while everyone else is dropping like flies. So the question is, how do you crack the code on how to get those partners? How do you crack the code on getting past the high wall of resistance, skepticism, resignation that uh, typically loan officers face when they go after these top producers? Well, again, that's a big reason why smart, ambitious, growth-minded mortgage professionals hire us at MortgageMarketingCoach.com is to learn the secret sauce on how to do that and to do it without without begging, chasing, bribing, or kissing butts, without cold calling or any of that nonsense, because frankly, all of that is doing it the hard way. We want to use an attraction-based method versus a chasing-based method. We want you to be the welcome guest, not the annoying pest. And unfortunately, most loan officers have a lackluster, limp, lame value proposition such that they're seen by the realtor as a annoying pest versus the welcome guest. They're seen as just a loan leech, just another mortgage parasite. And that tends not to bode well when it comes to attracting realtor partners. You may have noticed that by now. We can't just be relying on great rates, great service, throw me a bone. We can't just be relying on cold calling the same 40 freaking realtors every Monday. That's doing it the hard way. We need to have an attraction-based method that flips the script so that the realtor needs you more than you need them. We need an attraction-based method such that they're receptive and open to having a conversation before you, they even talk to you so that you don't have to go through the drudgery of banging your head against the wall, spinning your wheels, wasting your time 
time you can never get back cold calling these realtors who won't give you the time of day. That again is doing it the hard way. So attracting top producing realtors and to be able to flip the script so they need you more than you need them, where you are irreplaceable and indispensable such that they put you on their speed dial and they send you all their business all the time. And now you're generating one, two, three deals a month per partner. Think about how many partners you'd need like that to be able to hit your income goals, even in the face of current market conditions. Regardless of market conditions, if you can get 10 to 12 of those rock star top producing realtors sending you one, two, three deals a month, you're making surgeon money. You're being able to, you're able to make freedom money to be able to do what you want, when you want, with whom you want, anytime you want, regardless of market conditions, to be able to thrive while everyone else is struggling to survive. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I call working smart, not just working hard. That's what I call building a real business on a rock solid foundation, not building it on quicksand because you're picking the low hanging fruit, taking the short, you know, the, uh, the, the path of least resistance and only able to win while everyone else is winning. When everyone else is getting their ass kicked, that's when you want to be taking market share. But if you don't know how to pivot to the purchase market powerfully, you're going to have a hard time doing that. And the shortest path to the cash to pivot to the purchase market powerfully is to have a system to attract top producing realtors who make you their exclusive without the hell of cold calling. And that's precisely what we help smart, ambitious, growth-minded mortgage professionals to do. And we've been doing so for now over 17 years, not our first rodeo. So that being said, that's the first step in the process is attracting top producing realtors that are least and last affected by market downturns versus first and most. The second step in building a rock solid recession proof business is creating a system for mining the gold from your database to maximize repeat and referral business. Now you might be thinking, but Doran, I've already got all my clients refied. There's nothing else I can squeeze out of that fruit. I've already squeezed it to death. There's nothing else left. And that's where I'd submit to, me, to you that you're missing a huge part of the puzzle. And that is referral business. Because is it not true that even if you've refied your clients three times over the last two years and they're at the lowest rate and there's nothing else you can do for them in terms of refis unless they want to do an equity takeout or something like that, a cash out refi. And certainly there's still opportunity for that in today's market because a lot of people are home rich but cash poor. So don't neglect the equity takeouts and the uh, cash extraction from their equity. But on top of that, think about it. All those people know at least 200 people who either A, are renting, who should be owning, or B, are investors who need access to more capital to build their portfolio, or C, are thinking about moving, and when they move, obviously, they're going to need another mortgage on their new property, or you know maybe there's uh, people that need one of your preferred vendors, like a financial planner, an accountant, a great realtor, insurance agent, et cetera. So you can get referrals for your dream team. And when you do that, guess what happens? You're enacting the law of reciprocity to work in your favor, such that when you start sending leads to your partners, they feel inclined to send leads back. That's the law of reciprocity. So it's not just about getting refis. It's not just about getting equity takeouts. It's about getting referrals for both you and your partners. And every one of your clients knows other people who either are thinking about buying or thinking about selling, who are already renting and should be owning and are sick and tired of making their landlord rich. All these different factors is an absolute treasure trove of opportunity if you have effective systems for capturing that business, if you have effective systems for mining the gold from your database. And then again, that's a big reason why smart, ambitious, growth-minded mortgage professionals hire us is they realize that they're really good at the technical side of doing mortgages, but they're not super good at the marketing side. And they realize if they don't learn how to market effectively, they're going to have skinny kids, especially in a market shift like we're in right now. And that's just not an option for them, period. That's why they hire us. So they can be thriving while everyone else is struggling to be surviving. And so that's the second piece of the puzzle to build a recession-proof business. You need to learn how to turn every transaction you do into more repeat and referral business. You need to learn how to turn every transaction you do into more repeat referral business and rave reviews such that you show up and shine online with a five-star reputation. So you start getting more and more referrals from Google. 
And those are the best quality leads you can ever get online, straight from Google, hot for what you got, pre-sold, pre-cooked, pre-tenderized, predisposed to want to work with you before they even talk with you. That's the power of having a five-star reputation. And that's the power of having a system that allows you to do it, to turn every transaction you do into more repeat and referral business on autopilot. So that's the second step to recession-proof your business. Least, uh, last but certainly not least, the third step to recession-proofing your business is building stability through diversification in the purchase market. We already know that building your business on a refi foundation is like building your house on quicksand. That's not a real business. That's a, I'll only thrive when everything is lollipops, unicorns, and rainbows with crazy low rates. That's not going to cut it. And you guys already know that to be true. That's why you're watching this. That's why you're listening to this. So we want to build on that rocket solid foundation with the most reliable source of business in your business, which is the purchase market. And we want to be able to, be able to build that stability through diversification by having leads coming from your, you know, the online search from Google. You have quality leads coming from top producing realtors who make you their exclusive to the tune of one, two, three closings a month per partner. And you have 10 to 12 to 15 of those partners all sending you all their best buyers, building stability through diversification. You have systems for maximizing repeat and referral business and rave reviews so that every client begets more clients. Every referral begets more referrals. And you're able to squeeze as much profit producing nectar from that database as possible as it grows. Can you see how that would make a difference? Can you see how that would make you least and last affected by market downturns versus first and most by building your house on a rock solid purchase foundation, well diversified, rock solid top producing realtors who send you all their business all the time, a wellspring of repeat and referral business from your database and to have a systems-based business versus, versus a you-based business. Can you see how that would make a difference? Well, chances are you've been listening to this, watching this, and you're like, Doran, this is exactly what I need. This is exactly what I've needed for a long time if you've been in the business for a while. And chances are you're starting to get a heightened appreciation for how much money you've been living on the table doing it the hard way. You're welcome. I'm here for you. Sometimes we need a proverbial kick in the nuts or a kick in the ovaries to wake up, to say, hey, it's time to wake up. It's time to make a shift. It's time to take proactive action. It's time to hem up those holes in your marketing bucket and start working smart instead of just working hard, leaving all that money on the table to your competitors. So if I've rattled your cage a little bit today, you're welcome. I'm here for you. That's my job. Not just to you know share with you all the opportunity that's available, but also to give you the kick in the ass you need to say, wake up. It's time to tap your full potential. No longer settling for scratching around in the chicken yard with the chickens when you know you're called to be an eagle, to soar like an eagle, to fly like an eagle. And once you get to the point where you're sick and tired of being sick and tired of wasting time, time you can never get back with fruitless toil, with leaving all that money on the table to your competitors, with doing it the hard way, with banging your head against the wall, spinning your wheels, and trudging through the mud with concrete blocks on your feet, doing it the hard way. Once you get to that point, that's what it really takes, guys, to create a breakthrough. It's not those who, those who win are not just those who merely want to win, but rather those who refuse to freaking lose. And that means getting to the point where you're sick and tired of being sick and tired of getting your ass kicked, doing it the hard way, leaving money on the table, and wasting time with fruitless toil. If you feel like you've gotten to that point and you're ready to get armed and dangerous, so you're no longer showing up to the gunfight with a butter knife, you're ready to roll out the freaking tanks. If you're in a place where perhaps your business is not where you want it to be, perhaps you've been in stagnation or regression, perhaps you've been you know, suffering sleepless nights, worrying where that next deal is going to come from, worried about your future. And you know that there's got to be a better way. And after you listen to this, you're like, man, there is a better way. And I've been, frankly, just not knowing how to crack the code on those components. Well, again, welcome to the club. That's why people hire us, because this is not an easy code to crack. You can't just watch a free YouTube video, listen to a free podcast, or read a free blog to figure this thing out. You already know that to be true. And obviously, there's got to be more than just the high-level stuff that we're talking about in this podcast, just you know, the 3,000-foot eagle-eye view. We want to get into the nitty-gritty and give you some meaningful specifics on how to implement this. 
So if that's you and you're ready to go from the vague generalities into the meaningful specifics and you're defiantly committed to creating a breakthrough in your business and you're sick and tired of being sick and tired of doing it the hard way like you've been doing it, I invite you to book a complimentary breakthrough call where you will get on the phone with either myself or one of my consultants. We'll lift up the hood on your business. We'll look at what's working, what's not working, where you're at now, where you want to be. And if we can help you create a breakthrough in your business, by all means, we'll show you what that looks like. If not, frankly, we'll be the first to advise you to pass on our services. But either way, you will leave that call with massive value, massive clarity. Chances are we're going to have some fun. So if that sounds meaningful and worthwhile to you, and it definitely should, go ahead and book a call at mortgagemarketingcoach.com forward slash apply. This is, again, Dorn Aldana coming at you from the Art of Mortgage Marketing podcast. I trust you got some value, some insight, some distinctions from our time together today. If you're wanting to pour gasoline on the fire and have an expert in your corner with a proven plan to help you do that and help you create a monumental breakthrough in your business, working smarter, not harder, building a recession-proof business in the purchase business with a rock-solid foundation, go ahead and book a call at mortgagemarketingcoach.com forward slash apply. That's all we got for today. Be blessed. We'll see you on the next episode. Peace, y'all.